Hello Scorpios, I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. So this could resonate with anyone who has Scorpio strongly in their chart. Um, saying that though, Scorpio, we all know that we're all different ages, we're moving through different life experiences, we're living all around the world. So it would, from my perspective, be really hard um, to imagine that all Scorpio people would be, would be living the same life template. Um, we have complicated natal charts and we're all individuals living our own human experience. That said, I hope there's something here for you um, that helps you move forward in your journey. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It's exciting to have you here and I look forward to the story that's gonna come out tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle. Um, and for those of you who do not like the shuffling part, just go ahead and move forward in the reading to where, in the video to where the reading begins. I don't mind that at all. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. What is the general energy for this group of Scorpio people that they're experiencing now. What is the general energy that they're experiencing now for Scorpio? Right out of the box, my friends, right out of the box, Ace of Cups. Came in like this, that's okay. It's an upright energy. Justice, wow, Scorpio. What is Scorpio experiencing right now? What is Scorpio experiencing right now? Tower. Okay, I have to have one more energy. I can't just do that. <laughs> okay. The fool. Something new is happening here. Something new is happening here. Cups flipping over. This is about you. This is about either you or a partner, because this is it's the King of Cups here. So, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Sorry, I'm just going in and going in between these energies and clarifying what I'm doing. Well, it's always exciting to see the Ace of Cups coming out first. And it still is exciting. This story is still a good story. So let's see what is in the next incoming energy, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, next seven to ten days for the sign of Scorpio. What is the next energy that Scorpio will be stepping into? What is the next energy that Scorpio is stepping into? What is the next energy? What is the next energy? What is the next energy that Scorpio is stepping into? What is the next energy that Scorpio is stepping into? Jeez. One card just flew directly down and like landed on the pile in the upright. And I'm going to keep that card and put the rest in the... Guidance, guidance for Scorpio. Guidance for Scorpio, please. Guidance for Scorpio.
more in here. Come on now. Is this it? Just two cards? Just two? Is that all you're going to give us? <sighs> okay, I, I, they, I just keep hearing the words. Wait for it, wait for it. So I need to calm down here and get it to come out. There we go. Okay. Goodness. All right. So Scorpio, usually on the current energy, I just pull four cards, but I can't with the tower and the four of pentacles. I just can't. I need to pull, I need to pull a second row. Well, the bottom card in my decks, the bottom middle card for me and my team that I work with, this is the overall energy, like the, 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 the overall energy, the bigger story something here that affected that is the main point of everything something happened here something happened in the past and i don't want to spend too much time in the past but really this is a story where the past has relevancy i mean who in their lives doesn't bring the past into their journeys forward if we are not bringing the past into our journeys forward as lessons as experiences as wisdom that we carry with us who who doesn't do that everyone does that so um i okay just to, just to be real about this i you know i'm an empath i can feel energies and i'm in this energy and it is a pissed off energy so if i sound upset it's only because i am in this energy <laughs> okay so something happened here. Something happened quickly, probably. If it happened, if it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it happened quickly or not. Something came crashing down around you. Whatever that was. Your career, your love life, your family life, a death in the family. Whatever that was, something came crashing down. And there was something about it that was just not fair. So unfair. And it's making, it's something that had brought you to a point of deep anger. Because I can feel the anger here. I can feel it. It's a strong anger. Okay, it's really hard. <sighs> okay, let me pull myself out of that. It just wasn't. For one thing, injustice is always hard to take, isn't it? Injustice is always hard to take. And with the Three of Swords over the top of the justice energy, that tells me that something happened that just wasn't fair. It wasn't right. It wasn't fair. It wasn't healthy. It wasn't good for anything. Good for nothing. And I feel like adding some other words on the end of that. self -centric. Am I self-censoring? Yes, I am. Because I don't think it's good for me to go there. And I don't think it's good for me to say those words. And my neck just cracked. So I'm going to take this this and turn it over now. Because it doesn't need to be any anymore. I'm going to turn it over. I can't do it anymore. But it's part of this story. It's part of this story. Let's lay it to rest. And that's, I think, what's happening here. Um, we do have an energy here of the Four of Pentacles. See, I keep on. Let's start at the beginning. Boy, oh boy. We have this Ace of Cups. We have this new love here. It's a new love. It's a new loving situation. It's a new inspiration. It could be a new love in your life. It could be a new version of yourself, a new healthier, loving version of yourself, self-love. We have to remember that the Ace of Cups talks a lot about self-love. And yes, we hate to hear that. Oh, I'm in the, I have to take these cards away. They're go, they have to go away. I'm still in it. Okay. 
Sometimes it's hard to hear that the Ace of Cups is self-love and self-care, self-awareness, self-fulfillment, self-protection. Okay, but this could be a story around, this could be about a love story, about a love story or a love story of yourself, a love story with the work that you do, a love story with your family, a love story with your people, with your homeland. Whatever it is, there is a love story here. The words love story comes very strongly into mind. So there's a love story and not all love stories have to be a certain kind. They don't have to have a man and a woman go walking together down a path with flowers and roses. It doesn't always have to be that kind of a story. <laughs> uh, sorry, I still have a bit of that energy. But there's a love story here. And I can see that as you are moving through this period of time, there is some sort of equality that's coming over whatever this was that happened, that threw this to, that shattered something within you. Something was shattered. I don't can't go back there because I want to, but I can't. It's not good. <sighs> that's just pulling me in there. I can't do it. So there's some new equality here. Either a decision has been made there's been some sort of message that's come forward that's brought some sort of equality because the Prince of Pentacles is sometimes a message of substantial means. Could be a message that somebody has sent or some kind of um, decision that somebody has made here with the Page of Pentacles over the Justice Energy and over the Ace of Cups. It could be that this situation is just improving, that it's becoming more balanced, that there has been some resolution in whatever this situation was. Whatever the fact is, this is a situation that's improving. Whether your life itself is improving because you have spent some time to really learn about yourself and learn about what brings fulfillment and joy in your life, or whether this is a love story that's beginning to come into fruition as far as the, as the quality of love that is within it. Because at one point or another, it all came crashing down on you. Now I see the situation moving forward here, um, moving forward. I feel in your, in your, um, energy. So there's a break in the energy here and that's okay. There's a break now. So let me, I want to add in, make it more well-rounded three of cups. I just have a feeling that there is an energy of holding on and I don't think it's your energy. I think it could be that people around you or the desires of the people around you that they're holding on now. They're holding on to something old. They're holding on to something outdated. Whatever's happened here, there is a, it's like a new version of you. I feel the energy of transformation. It's like the death energy. This is like a death energy to me. So there's sort of been a trend. See, there, there's a hitch in the energy. There has been some, your energy has transformed. Your energy has transformed. Your, the way you feel about this situation, the way you feel about you has transformed. See this equality, this balance that we have here, this rebuilding. This has to do with, this has a lot to do with your own energy here. And I feel when I go into this energy that there are people around you or a person around you or even a situation or a community around you that is holding on, holding on to like an outdated version, an old software program, an outdated version of you or something outdated. They're holding on to an outdated idea or an outdated image or an outdated philosophy. Something is outdated. Something is old and outdated. Something about that. And you're moving forward. You're moving on. You have new clarity now. You're moving on in a different way. You have an understanding about this. You've gained your own. You have your own perception. 
that brings you peace. It brings you a stillness. It gives you resolve. It gives you a, 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 um, a sense of peace as you set forward into a new sort of flow in your river and, a, and into a part of your river that is much less rough. So you're moving forward into a much more peaceful time in your life because of these new, this clarity that you have on what exactly happened, why it happened, who was involved, and what the problem was. And you're moving forward with this new sense of peace and resolution about your own future. And I have a feeling that your future is going to be much more peaceful, much more clear than whatever you're leaving behind. Okay, so let's look at what's in the future now, in the, in the first wave of energy. What's in the first wave of energy that we see here? All right, so you and I are seeing these cards. Well, I see them. Um, sometimes when they come down, but like I definitely saw this one. Seven of Cups in the in the reverse. Scare me. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I thought, man, are they all in the reverse? No. Nine of Cups in the upright. Ace of Swords in the upright. Woo, what's this? Death energy. I knew it. Transformation. Judgment, wow. Five of Wands. Well, what, what's happening as you move into the future in the next seven to ten days or the next couple of weeks or the next three weeks or however long this time frame is for you? It would be arrogant of me to place a time frame on this. We all know that tarot does not, from my perspective, really do time well. So for me to just say it's going to be a certain time, I refuse to do that as a reader. But I have asked for the next immediate time period, whatever that is. And I'm hoping that that falls within the next month, at least. You know, that's what we're hoping here. Again, each and every one of you are living different experiences, so... We have to be a little bit flexible on the timing, but we see you now not allowing anymore this energy around you of being in some type of an illusion or being in some type of a, be allowing yourself to be dragged forward into some kind of bandwagon or some sort of dream that isn't yours, that isn't moving ahead. So there is something here that, it's, I, I feel like it might even be a belief system or a way of manifesting or even um, a way of thinking about the future where it's, it's an energy of not understanding your own power, not understanding who you are. And now you have this understanding. You have an understanding about what your superpowers are, who you are as a soul, what you stand for, what you believe in, who you are as a mind and a body, what your belief system is, what your spiritual team is, what you believe in. It's like everything is so structures, was structured within you now. Whatever this, whatever happened that came crashing down, it brought forward in such a clear way of what you weren't seeing in the past, what you weren't seeing. Because I have a feeling here you could have been hovering for quite some time around a dream that perhaps wasn't yours, or you could have jumped onto someone else's dream or got pulled into someone else's life or got pulled into something that just never, never created something substantial for you any kind of wealth any kind of comfort any kind of foundation it wasn't there maybe it said it was there with the seven of cups in reverse maybe all the words were there maybe even all the intentions were there but nothing ever happened with the knight of pentacles in reverse nothing ever happened and i think that during this catastrophe that happened it brought everything very clear and now you're standing with here this is messed up well 
I was going to say, well, it's not focused. Let's see if it focuses. This is you now. Scorpio energy. Look at you. This is you. You're standing very firmly in this, re very firmly in this reading with the Scorpio energy. This is you. You know the truth of it. You know where you've been and you know where you're going now. And this is a hardened, more powerful, more intensive, more intentional version of yourself. And it's beautiful. It's attractive. It's sensual. Isn't it? It's like there's a new ver there's a there's a new version. And with this, with this new version, you're moving forward here into a brand new day. Judgment energy. Brand new day. Over the top of this non-movement. So something has come in here, or someone or something, even a new way of being that is bringing some kind of second chance, a beautiful new revitalized future is coming towards you. And I think you've been a part of that. Look at this blade you carry. <laughs> Look at the fire that's burning in the background. I mean, there's an eclipse there. So over the next few weeks, we see that um, you really move through this transformation and you begin to bring in wishes of your own. You have some sort of victory ahead with the Ace of Wands. And this victory and this, this wholesome wellness that you have in front and center is really um, the story that, that comes in and covers up the conflict that used to be there. There's some sort of message coming in. Or victory ahead here. That's a wish come true. High Priestess. Look how it landed right there. High Priestess energy. Could be a secret. Could be something that not very many people know. Something that you're kind of keeping to yourself. This is because here, look at the High Priestess with the death energy. This is this is internal knowing. This is internal um steadfastness this is connection in with divine energy this is communication with your subconscious with your guidance system with your guides this is the story here this is why this is happening here now i'm going to clarify the five of wands yeah there there's victory here there's new this five of wands is, is some energy from the past. Ten of pentacles now. So you have the, the nine of cups with the ten of pentacles with the ace of swords. So some new long-term foundation is being created because you've been willing here to fight the good fight and have victory and bring in some sort of stability here. So there is some sort of wish coming true here with the nine of cups. Something is happening that is in your own best interest. It's a victory. It could be a communication. It could be a decision that's coming in. There is a new, beautiful, long-term pathway here for you with the Ten of Pentacles. It could be something that you're competing for, that you've been in some sort of competition for. Page of Wands is inspirational. It's something that fills you with passion, helps you feel young again, revitalized for the future. It's an energy that it comes after this five energy, the five energy, the energy of change. So as this, these new energies start building in the next few weeks for you, the next month, I think you're going to start to feel a lessening of this conflict. This five energy becomes truly a five. You're going to see it as a five, not as a nine, like nine of wands. You're going to see it as what it was. And as with you in this new power, this new empowerment, this new internal wisdom that you have, this new beginning, this five of wands is going to be more and more diminished, more and more reduced as you move forward into whatever this victory energy is. So you have success coming towards you. And whatever was keeping you stopped and, and um, keeping you stagnant, whether it was other people or whether it was some sort of belief system that you had, that is from the, that is of the past. That is of the past. So over the next few weeks, we're going to see some sort of a victory here with the Ace of Swords. 
um, some sort of wish coming true here or something really beautiful happening that's going to put you on your way here into long-term success. It could be a long-term relationship, long-term increasing wealth, whatever it is with the Ten of Pentacles, it's something that um, is stable long-term, it's going to be healthy, and it's going to bring in um, a foundation that's strong, that will be there for the long haul. Okay, let's look at guidance now. Ten of Cups, beautiful, Page of Swords. This came in like this, I think, something like that, Nine of Wands. I'm going to put it in the upright. Well, there's happiness here in the future with the Ten of Cups. This is guidance. So the guidance is the Ten of Cups. We had the Ten of Pentacles earlier, didn't we, in the, in the future, in the first phase. So there is happiness and joy coming in. There's peacefulness, serenity, sanctuary, bliss, right? And we know that the Tens don't last forever. But now that you find it, now that you've found it, now that you've found this this platform, now that you have found this foundation, you have built this or you have connected in with it, it's going to give you some steadiness. It's going to give you some structure in which you can um, find comfort in, in which you can allow and be able to trust in allowing this happiness in. So for you, I think it's going to be important for you to connect in with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is probably going to happen first with the safety and security and comfort, maybe an increase of money, maybe some sort of a long-term partnership that's building. And once that Ten of Pentacles is, is felt, um, then you can access this Ten of Cups, which is happiness, joy, fulfillment, peace, serenity, right? That kind of an energy. We have the Page of Swords here with the Ten of Wands. This is an energy um, that often is energy that opens doors. It's not the greatest, the most fun energy. It's an energy of observation and of, of learning with the Page of Swords. Sometimes it's an uneasy energy. It can be a suspicious energy. It's an awkward energy. Let me just say it like that. It's kind of a vulnerable, awkward energy, but it's needed. It's needed as we move into new situations. It's needed as we are, are motivated to study and to take note. Sometimes if we aren't put on the alert, if we aren't warned of anything, or if we don't feel that red flag warning alert system that's in within us, um, sometimes we just go along without paying attention to the details, without, without noticing things that are important. So the guidance here is to, to learn, to continue to learn, to step into that uneasy, vulnerable feeling um, that is a part of this transformation for you, um, to be a student of life. And to be a student of life is sometimes an awkward feeling, especially like on the first day of school. If we all remember what the first day of school was like or the first day of university, how that felt. It's like an uneasy feeling, but it's also a beautiful feeling. It also can bring you a beautiful, improved future. So just because you're feeling awkward or you're feeling uneasy or there's a suspicious energy, um, the guidance is to stay in that energy, to, to experience it, to learn what you need to learn, to see what you need to see, to protect, to protect something here with the Nine of Wands, to be a self-advocate, to be an advocate. To be, to represent yourself, to represent what, who you are and what you believe in and what you connect to and what brings you vitality and passion. What helps you to restore your foundation? What helps you to bring in abundance in your life? What can you do to protect yourself, to take, um, to, to be on the defense, to be on the offense, right? It's a, it's a, it's an offense defense. This Nine of Wands energy, I, I really like this energy. It, it speaks to me. If you take this picture, you have a farmer, and in the field behind the fence is the crop. We don't know what the crop is, but I do see seeds. So there's seeds growing in those plants. And there's a fence. So that tells me that this fence is going to keep out the deer, the cattle, whatever that's roaming around. But there's, a, there's an animal that can get in still, and that's the birds. The birds can come. They, the fence doesn't stop them. They can land in the field and they can still eat the eat the seeds. So this farmer is is going into action to defend the abundance, going into action to, to defend his hard work. He worked hard to sow those seeds. He worked hard to raise that crop. You know, he knows what it's going to mean for him. And he's willing to take some steps here to protect it in a different way. So this is being very offensive but also defensive, if that makes any sense. 
So these are the energies that you're going to be in in the upcoming periods of time to use these energies as a way of being successful, as a tool that's in your back pocket because they will be needed here. And it's not that they're bad energies or that they're energies that you should shy away from. In fact, they're energies that you should step into. But look what's here, Ten of Cups. And we had the Ten of Pentacles earlier. So that's really a beautiful story, Scorpio. All right, my friends, I am going to move into the extended now. Let me see what energies I'm going to look deeper into. I'm going to look deeper. I'm going to look deeper into this Nine of Cups for sure. I'm going to look deeper into this Ace of Cups, see if I can get more information on that. I don't think I need to dig any deeper in these people or this invasion type energy. Um, you'll know what that is if this is resonating to you. I want to spend my time bringing forward information that's going to help you. Here's the Ace of Swords that I'll dig into. See what that victory was. And I'm going to dig into the Ten of Pentacles. So these are the energies, because I think the Ten of Pentacles is going to come first, and then happiness builds. So let's dig into the Ten of Pentacles first. All right, my friends, I'm going to do these cards, and then I will take the situation and move it through um, March, April, May, and June to see what it looks like. All right, thank you very much, Scorpio. It's always a pleasure to read for you. Um, I have been under the weather. I look forward to next week. I'll be back in, in full and fine form for the next um, uh, the next series of readings. Thank you very much, my friends.